Carolyn here from Apsilec, um, Trichology Clinic. We're um, talking about pH again today. Uh, recently I asked one of my team to um, test her pH and then also to do a bit of a book review for me on this pH kit so it gives a different perspective. The interesting thing is, in my eyes, she's a very healthy individual. She eats well, she tries to eat organic, she exercises. You know, you look at it and you think she's got the perfect life. Her pH was terrible. Her pH was down in the yellow. It was acid. She was shocked and I was shocked. But we could see reasons why by reading through the book and understanding that pH isn't just reactive of what happens in your body today. It's an effect of what's happened in your body all your life thus far. As we were talking about the immune system before, it starts building up when you're very, very young. So it also depends on what kind of career you have, what you've been exposed to um, on your skin, in your body, what you breathe in as well. So there's a lot of other things environmental wise that will affect your pH. So it's a good idea to read the book and make some little changes. Things like drinking um, filtered water, drinking from glass rather than plastic bottles, using the right food combining, um, con controlling stress and different emotions and things like that. And you know, it's a really good read. But people get frustrated because they do all these things and they say it's not moving my pH it tells you your body's struggling so then you need to look a little bit deeper at your blood work and what may be storing in your body because the toxins get wrapped up and lucky for us they get stored in our fat cells so sometimes we need to do a release and then we always would support on base nutrition to give the body what it needs to help it to get rid of the things that it doesn't need. So pH is a little bit more than meets the eye, but make sure you don't just test, but you understand why it needs to be the way it is. And don't just cheat. Don't just go in and take an acid buffer or use bicarb of soda. It's the lifestyle changes that are going to help you to um, gradually increase your pH. And in some cases we can't, and that's okay, but we compensate. So there's always a way around it, but don't get too stressed about it, but don't be too laid back about it either. So if you've got any questions or concerns about your pH results, please drop me an email. It's info at absolute.com.au.